Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we have a little bit of a longer explanation for some features and how to edit meshes in Fusion 360. We're gonna jump on over. I do have some of my own projects that I've used this feature on and I'll, I'll show at the end. But I have this sphere right here. And we're actually going to be using both the mesh, the remesh and the reduce feature. Let's start with the reduce because it's a lot more straightforward. So first and foremost, it's gonna ask us to select faces or bodies. And currently I just have it as the paint select. So I'm just gonna draw around and I'm just gonna show you just this section right here. Yeah, that's good. Right? And so what we can change, I'm also gonna turn preview on. I usually do that at the very beginning. And you can already see right there. So the density is at a quarter. You can see it's reduced the number of faces. Now this is adaptive, so it's just trying to fit as well as it can, but I can also use uniform, which tries making all these faces as close to the same size as possible. So we also have density, which you can see right here. I'm trying to reduce this, de this the density of this area by a quarter. And you can see you can change that. You also have face count. So right now there's 210 of these little triangles. Most of them you can see are actually just hidden in these little corners right here. And you can increase and decrease that. And then last you have tolerances. Tolerances honestly is something that I have a harder time understanding exactly what it does because frankly, I don't, I haven't been able to see it actually do anything. I tested it on a couple of different files and still had the same result. If you do know what it is, I'd love to hear it in the comment because I, I honestly can't see the purpose of it. You can also preserve the boundaries and, and so you don't have as much of a, like a noticeable change. Uh, and that's for all density and face count as well. And that's pretty much it. So that's, that's what it is right there. Um, this is really, really useful if you're wanting to customize just a small section of a, a mesh file, especially if you're 3D printing. So we'll just cancel that. And we're gonna do the same thing. Actually, I probably should have kept that selection. And we're gonna do this other feature, the remesh. Remesh is in a lot of ways is very similar to the reduce. Um, but there's a lot more you can do with it. So first off, we're just going to use, again, you have adaptive or uniform, depending on which one you want. I'm just going to use uniform. And you have density again. But here, oops, sorry, I'm going to turn the preview on. So you can see right here, the density is 7.545. Um, so that's seven times more than original. And so as you go up, you can see it's really, really refined, um, this sphere, which is really, really nice. And I can also decrease it very similar to the reduce feature. So a little bit of a redundancy there. Um, but the nice thing is you can increase it, which is really nice. That's something that I personally like a lot. I, I think this is kind of a poor name, remesh. I think it should be reduce and refine or something, um, but that's pretty much it. So again, we can preserve boundary. We can also preserve sharp edges, which we don't have any, any in this case since it's a sphere. But if you have a corner, that's something you definitely want to keep in mind. And that's it. That is the differences between the remesh and the reduce feature for mesh parts in Fusion 360. So to give you kind of some examples of why this may be useful. Um, I didn't do this in Fusion 360. I actually did it in Mesh Mixer, but I used a similar feature for it. Um, so in school, I was designing a belay device. This is for rock climbing. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. And so you just put the rope in there. For those of you rock climbing, you know exactly what this is. So going for a ram shape, and you can actually see that little pixelation kind of look. Well, originally, it was this. It was a, come on, there we go. Had a skull, kind of a, a ram skull. So I reduced everything, smoothed it all out, and then I made sure that these horns just right on the horns everything got reduced so that I was able to get a pixelation just on the horns and on the face but if you look on the back it's still smooth so I was able to get a variety of different textures there um, it definitely took a long time a lot of tinkering with it's not an exact science doing it this way there's lots better ways of getting this kind of texture than to do it this way but in Fusion 360 or in Mesh Mixer this is how I achieved it just an example. There's lots of other applications that people could have for this, and I'd love to hear them in the comments below. If you like this video, hit that like button, and as always, keep on modeling. So thanks for watching.